Hi everybody. Welcome back, Soul Family. It's Priestess and Medium Rosalyn. And it's time to get into love triangle reading, but it's something interesting going on, okay? Now, today is May 12th, but anytime you get this and you're resonating with it, it means it was time for you to see it, right? Um, I just finished a reading that I think that you should probably see along with this one. Um, it's about actually, it's about, it's about birth control. It's about freedoms and rights and making good decisions and choices for so many different things that are going on. Okay. Um, that was very directly given to me this morning, very early this morning. It's been this whole energy about, um, the birth control, Roe v. Wade, etc. So it is somehow connected to this love triangle reading. I'm just not sure fully what ways it will resonate with you. It's almost like taking these precautions you need to take. Um, you know, instead of feeling that everything can totally be left up to you at the last minute. Um, whatever your stance is, I don't have really a personal investment in all of that right now. Um, but I'm just telling you that is the information that's coming through. So just take um, some time, you know, to think about that and how it may affect you as far as this love triangle reading. It feels like there's a lot of issues going on that are affecting money, love, and this third party kind of thing. Um, it almost feels like some of you will have to think ahead because the other person that's involved is not as invested. That's almost the way it feels. So let's get into this reading. I don't want to see so many of male or female, masculine or feminine, kind of lost with no options. Do you see what I'm saying? You love someone, but it's kind of like they got you messed up. They got you a little bit tangled up here where you might not be as clear as you need to be. Do you see what I'm saying? So I always veer on the side of protecting your future, you know, always. All right, let's get into this, Mother of God. Blessed Holy Spirit, Spirit from the pure white light. Help me to give the messages to the viewers who are watching, who are experiencing, you know, this whole thing. Love triangle decisions, love. What's going on with this? Okay, um, the first thing I'm hearing is that something is really imbalanced. Some of you need to um, possibly consider what is the best way for you to deal with your fear? Because there's some kind of fear to do with this whole love triangle thing. Um, yeah, it's almost like it's a big game going on and you're not sure what choice or decision to make. You, you might not even be sure what options you have right now. Some of you feel lonely. Some of you feel abandoned. Some of you feel regret. Okay. You all know, I'll just give you the messages as they're coming in with the reading. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Yeah. Some of you are trying to make a choice about trusting this person with your finances or if you should believe everything they're saying to you. Okay? That's also what I'm getting here. Page of Wands. Judgment. Seven of Pentacles, the world, Ace of Wands. I just heard, heard someone say um, he's crossing you. He's crossing you. So he may, someone may be causing you some confusion. It could be the masculine in the relationship or it could be the feminine, but I'm hearing that someone may be causing you some confusion here. I can see that there's information coming in and it's information that has happened before because we have the judgment card here. So this is something that you've had happen before. You feel like this person is putting you in a box and they want you to choose, even though you're having regrets again because you realize that it's not just the two of you, that it is a third party, it is a third person involved. I'm seeing here that you've been waiting Okay, you've been trying to hold back so that you will do things at the right time. It's like you're judging and you're repeating it over and over in your mind. How long do you have to wait? Um, there, for some of you, Seven of Pentacles is representing a child. 
okay? Like an actual pregnancy for some of you, okay? That can be a representative, representative of a, a baby, you know? Um, we have the world here, which means some of you are trying to come to a conclusion. Okay, I'm also hearing this person, it's almost like they're wearing a mask with you where you're not sure if you can wrap up things and make a, a good decision with the person. So it's leaving an imbalance there. Like you're in this thing and you're you're having feelings for this person. You care about this person. However, you're getting that lack of support, okay, for being in this third party thing and for being there and for accepting some of the things you've accepted in the past. You're still not getting all the support you need. So for some of you, this is really representing the passion, the love, the phallic energy, and the relationship, okay? Some of you, this is representing a brand new beginning that you really want with this person, okay? Let's see. Let's take a deeper dive into that. On the bottom, we have the Ten of Swords here. For some of you, I'm hearing this is a companion. It's not really like a soulmate connection, a, rom a heavily romantic love connection it's almost like this is a companion for you and you are designated almost some of you feel like you are actually the third party and you know it and that this may come to an end and this could be like your companion okay not really someone that you could say is going to be that soulmate that'll be there for you and you'll be bonded together okay show us more about this person, I, I do feel that this is a male, okay? I feel like this is the male energy and you're kind of waiting to see what's going to happen here. Okay, show us more here. What else is going on here? I'm hearing the word forgiveness. Um. Okay, some of you are waiting for this person to reach out to you. Yeah, you're waiting for this person to reach out to you. What else is going on? Lessons, okay, life lessons. I'm hearing that for some of you, this person wants to have a conquest, to feel like they conquered you, like they have more than one person, like they really achieved something, you know, that they wanted to because they had more than one person that was interested. Okay, let's see what this is. The full. Could be Aries uh, energy here. It could be looking before you leap. Someone who is very courageous. They like to be the center of attention. Three of Wands. Someone who's looking out for something better here. You may be looking for what this is really going to bring into your life. You're looking for other things to come in that may be really good for you because you're not sure about the situation anymore. Six of swords on the bottom you may be willing to turn your back on this situation this person may be willing to sometimes turn their back on you because they feel they have a foundation with this other person they may feel that no matter what goes on between you and them that they can still go back to where they came from and have this peace of mind okay that's kind of the way that feels also we have the star which means there's some healing needed. I feel like there's also healing needed for this person who has the two people that they're dealing with, okay? Uh, this this water, this is representing Aquarius energy, um, and it also represents a lot of healing. It represents that someone, you know, they don't mind being the center of attention as long as they're getting what they want. Someone who's getting a lot of attention in this. The lover's. The lover so there is a connection here okay this also feels heavily of a gemini kind of energy where someone feels very natural having multiple people involved okay three of swords so someone may may be debating about you know this whole thing with if i do stay connected with this person you know, if I am connected and tied to this person, is it going to lead to this heartbreak where I feel like I've been betrayed and stabbed in the heart? Okay. Someone may be trying to figure that out. 
King of Wands energy here. Someone who's very passionate, very sexual, romantic. Someone who knows how to say all of the right things and do all of the right things. But it could be very fleeting at the same time. We have the Goddess of Wands here. So whoever this is, I feel like this with the God of Wands and the Goddess of Wands, this could literally be like a sexual power couple. Two people who are passionate and like to have all of this seduction and romantic energy going on. It can also be two people together because I'm seeing them right together like that. I mean, it looks like a couple who knows that they like attention. Their social media is going. They like to wear, you know, certain things they always like to wear. Um, they like to be at the, you know, trending, you know, that Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy where they want that attention all the time. Okay. Um, this is this is the energy of someone to me. You know, they like to have everything that they like. And they don't have this big thing about, oh, I need to narrow it down to one person. You know, like, I should do this, I shouldn't do that. They may not have the same set of, you know, guidelines, the same set of morals that you might have. Ten of Pentacles here. This could definitely be someone who's married or someone who's had a long-term common law kind of relationship at home, you know, where they are actually happy. They may have worked for a while and attained something together with this person that's at home. Knight of Wands here. More information and messages coming in. It's a lot of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy in here. Okay, it's a lot of it. I see that. We have the Justice card. Is there some kind of legal thing going on? Is someone in the middle of a separation? Do you just feel you're not being treated right? Okay, she has a tear in her eye, so it's like justice, but it's bitter. You know, when I see the Justice card in this deck. Four of Pentacles, there's a need for you to not put your eggs all in one basket, okay? Think about what you want to put away for your energy time, your money, what you're working for. Think about your future. How much do you want to hold on to? Okay, don't put all your eggs in one basket. What are you holding on to? What is it about with this person? What are you planning for your future? What are you doing with your money while you're feeling emotional? Okay. Nine of Swords here. Someone's feeling, you know, cagey. They're feeling like they can't sleep. They can't relax. They've got anxiety about what's going to happen next here. Let's get a few more cards before I close out the reading. Let's see. Oh, okay. All right, I'm being led to this deck. Instead of the love oracle messages, I'm being led to this deck. So let's see how, how this is. What are the messages you have for the love triangle reading? What are the messages for the love triangle reading? What should the viewers know from this deck? What's going on here? Okay, let's see here. Peace. Isn't that beautiful? Some of you are going to have to think about peace and what it's going to take for you to be at peace with this situation. Play. Play. Lighthearted. Heart chakra energy. Flirting. Playtime. Personal power. This is more of that fire sign energy. What are you going to need for yourself to feel powerful? What is your personal power about? I feel like this love triangle is bringing about a lot of you questioning your inner self. It's bringing about that need for you to find out more about yourself and what you really want. Love. More heart chakra energy coming in. Love. Mm -hmm. What I'm hearing is that even though this may be, you know, a third party kind of thing, it's bringing about that need to fulfill love in your life. It's bringing about the questions, it's softening some of you up so that you'll understand how to work with your heart more. 
you know so if there is a soulmate energy here it could be that that's part of it is going to help soften you up is teaching you something inspiration this is that sacral energy because if it's a lot of good sex going on it's going to release some different things in your creativity did you know that inspiration are you more inspired because you've been involved with this person Let's see what's on the bottom determination this is your willpower so how determined are you to learn from this and not be petty to offer forgiveness if you need to forgiveness of yourself forgiveness of the other person how determined are you to keep going with your life dreams Maybe you've had some dreams about this whole situation that you're in. Maybe it gave you a little bit of intuition and activated something. Inner strength. Inner strength. So with me seeing inner strength and determination here, that lets me know that some of you may have been going through a very hard time with depression. Okay? Because it's determination, inner strength, dreams. It's almost like you're getting the message not to give up on yourself and not to get so hard um, in your judgment of yourself, not to get so low into your depression and lower your frequency that much because it is a situation where you may not have done anything wrong. It could be you're just in this situation and you're opening and understanding the best ways to keep going and not be so down on yourself, not to get so low um, into the depression, okay? It's like that energy of don't give up just because it looks this way right now, okay? Don't give up on your life and your good energy and decisions you can make. Be flexible. Some of you have been flexible in this because you didn't walk away even though there was another person involved balance keeping a balanced life a balanced peace of mind anytime i see this balance card i know it's an issue with peace how do you get peace in your life how do you find peace in a situation like this relationships relationships psychic development when I talked about the creativity and the really good SCX, this is part of it. It's actually an awakening for some of you. Okay, some of you are actually becoming awakened through all of this that's going on, this passion with this person. Visualizations. See, you're becoming more aware, even though it seems like this mundane situation with this third party and the drama and court and separations and you know protecting yourself and how much money are you going to invest into all of this romantic stuff is still a huge point of you becoming a better you a stronger you okay that's what's actually happening here some of you are developing listening skills listening okay all right so that is your third party love triangle reading that got kind of deep <laughs> it got kind of deep but it usually does right when you think about all of your emotions more than one person you you're knowing about and it can get very very heated just remember who you are remember you're still having this human experience and your spirit having this human passionate experience okay so think ahead all right um there are some videos um below in the description box that I've done in the past week. Very interesting topics. Um, I'm going to also um, leave this in the comment section. And if you all want to comment on the um, in the comment section, we can all start to talk and share a little bit more here because we're human, right? We're part of the soul family. There are no dumb questions, okay? If you're experiencing it, it's probably someone else experiencing the same thing, right? Okay, I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.